Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Fleet Friday. This is going to be this week's, I believe it's episode number 14 of Fleet Friday. We're already on episode number four, uh, 14, and this episode is also sponsored by the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Now, you will have noticed that I uploaded a video yesterday on Thursday titled Fleet Friday. That was last week's Fleet Friday. This is this week's free Friday. Fleet Friday and this week's Fleet Friday is coming out on Friday. I saw a lot of people in the comments section making some comments about that, about how the Fleet Friday was coming out on Thursday and yada yada. No, no, no. This is this week's Fleet Friday. That was a makeup. Anyways, without getting too much into that, let's get straight into this. So today we have the 2015 Ford F350 on the left and on the right we have the 2017 Chevy Silverado both beautiful beautiful vehicles both have one thing in common and that is that they are both pickup trucks now on the back of the F350 we do have the cab over for the uh, for the um, the back deck. I, I can't remember the name of it. It will come to me in a little bit. But this is the Ford F-350 Super Duty that the Blaine County Sheriff's Department utilizes. And I believe this is just the Silverado. I don't believe it has any special tags to it. Uh, yeah, no. No no special tags. This is just the Super Duty. So both of these vehicles look absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do, if you've never watched a Fleet Friday before, we're going to pull both of these vehicles out of their, out of their parking spots. Do a walk around, look at all the features that they have, all the visual aspects to the vehicle, look through all the liveries, then go through all the extras, talk about what rank uh, is required within the Blaine County Sheriff's Department, within the DOJ RP, to drive these vehicles, and then just go over small little things, my personal opinion on the vehicles, and things like that. So, without further ado, let's pull out the Chevy Silverado this will go first let's pull it forward a little bit now I will say that I use this Silverado a lot this specific Silverado however I use the Silverado in an unmarked fashion if you've ever seen any of my streams uh, you may have seen me utilizing this vehicle a lot now with that said let's go ahead and step out of the vehicle go ahead and grab our handy can our handy dandy key fob this does have a trunk open up the hood and then we're gonna open up the front right rear left and rear right and let's do a walk around of the vehicle now the engine bay is not detailed in this vehicle unlike other cars so nothing super special there now the ram bar i do not actually know what brand of ram bar this is it does not say does that no that is just the outline of a badge so no, nothing uh, Nothing that displays what kind of ram bar it is. So we're not going to go too much into that. Let's look inside the vehicle. So uh, first off, looking at it from a side profile, a lot of intersection lighting. A lot. We have the red and blue down there in the, uh, in the, um, the running board. Down below, we have the red flashing from the light bar. We have the red and blue from the sorry from the ram bar red flashing from the ram bar the red and blue from the light bar and then we also have a red flashing light from the toolbox in the back so that's going to be a lot of intersection lighting very useful uh very nice when you're trying to clear through intersections and things like that but anyways let's go ahead and look inside i think most of the blaine county sheriff's department ut utilizes the high speed center console so you're going to see a running theme there we obviously have our driver side and passenger side spotlights and we have the interior of the Silverado we got the tough book right there running strong with the MDT and now let's back out and look at the prisoner there is no prisoner partition so you would not be transporting anybody in this vehicle we have the shotgun some flares we got a stop stick some uh, we got some cones down there some police tape I believe that's probably some kind of tool book and then uh toolbox not tool book tool box 
and we have a fire extinguisher down below. Now, going to the back, we have some more cones, some bigger cones here in the back. Uh, we have a spare tire, and then an, um, I, I'm, I can't even imagine what's in that big, big toolbox back there. Let's go ahead and move this trunk up. There we go. And then we can see what we're working with. So as far as the reverse lighting of the vehicle, we see a very nice presence of lighting. We have the red and white. No white lighting in the back or yellow lighting or sorry, amber lighting I'm seeing in the back. But that is okay. A nice uh, red to blue pattern with the wigwagging red lights in the bay. We see it from this angle, it does kind of block the light bar. Um, but when we come around to the back, we see that actually I see all those ambers coming to light from the light bar back there. And then back here we have, you know, obviously a little bit of an opposite. It's mirrored or, or reversed on this side. So the toolbox on this side is blue while on the other side it was red. And the same thing with the ram bar. And then let's look. What do we have in here? What is that? Oh, that is the AR... That is the AR. That is that is a very nice livery for the firearm, for the AR. I really like that. And then we obviously have a high vis vest, a um, a first aid kit, and a and a uh, a radio right there to carry with us. And then that is going to be it for the exterior of the vehicle. We have some ALPRs up there. Let's get everything uh, closed. And now let's jump in the vehicle and look at all the liveries for this. Now, for for the trucks, I am hoping, I am hoping, I don't think we've seen it yet except on, I think, the Explorer. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to see the uh, Wildlife Rangers livery on this vehicle. I haven't actually gone through it yet. But before I get into that, let's talk about what rank you have to be to use this vehicle. So this vehicle is unlocked within the Blaine County Sheriff's Department at the rank of Captain. So this is a, this is a Captain level vehicle. So you're going to have to work uh, pretty hard to be able to drive this vehicle. But if you get to the rank of Captain within the Blaine County Sheriff's Department, you definitely deserve to drive a vehicle like this. So livery number zero is going to be the default Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Livery number one, wow, number one, come on, there it is, number one, this is the Wildlife Rangers, I I really like the Wildlife Rangers, I, it's got a special place in my heart, the Wildlife Rangers livery really does look nice, I like the, like, the really dark green, it just has a mean look to it, just, just really mean, oh, I, I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is, I just like, the thought of this, like, strolling through the, the woods on a dirt road with the sunset in the background, just it just seems, like, so genuine to me for what a sheriff's department should be. Anyways, moving on to number two. Livery number two is going to be the unmarked livery for this vehicle. So this is what you probably saw me in, and obviously this changes colors. You can make this black, red, pink, whatever, and so on and so forth. And then that is it. That is it. Three liveries. The default livery, the wildlife ranger livery, and the unmarked livery for this vehicle. So, uh, nothing super crazy with the liveries, and we got to see the wildlife livery. So, let's turn everything off and see what this has to offer. So, without, any, without anything on, um, we see the back is still pretty well lit. I don't know what's going on back here. Is that if that's just how it is uh, but the uh, rear lighting uh, back there in the in the trunk area that that running board from the trunk seems to be messed up maybe it'll be fixed with one of these extras extra number one is going to be the ram bar let's look at the front without uh, w without any extras so we actually do have a fair amount of lighting uh, let me turn off the uh, the hazard lights because that's starting to get uh, a little bit annoying. Uh, and the extra number one is going to add a push bar. Just a little bit more lighting right there. Again, we don't know what brand of push bar this is. Extra number two is going to add the, uh, the light bar on top of the vehicle. Extra number three is going to add the ALPRs. 
and then extra number four is going to add the uh, toolbox right there and that is going to be it for this vehicle nothing super crazy four extras three liveries and a walk around of the vehicle again unlocked at the rank of captain not a lot to show you but a beautiful looking car uh, it does I can I can attest to the fact that it does go very very fast and uh, it just looks it just looks nice it it is a nice looking car especially in all black in my personal opinion and and yeah it's just a fun car to drive so let's go ahead and I think I had some audio issues right there but you can ignore that we'll hand this off to the uh, sheriff uh, the sheriff deputy that is supervising us using these vehicles so let's go ahead make sure all the extras are turned on this is all the extras for the vehicle and now we're going to pull forward do a, do a walk around the car and talk about this car now this vehicle is the 2015 Ford F-350 Super Duty. This vehicle is unlocked at the rank of Staff Sergeant. So both of the, both of the uh, pickup trucks are pretty high-ranking, um, pretty high-ranking vehicles. Uh, you do have to be uh, decently high up there, uh, from what I can tell. But nonetheless, again, if you've made it to that kind of position, you deserve to drive vehicles that look like this. So. Uh, going into the liveries livery number zero and uh let's let's contact some people and uh bring the time back to uh, something that favors us there we go beautiful beautiful so let's go ahead and uh head over here uh, livery number zero is going to be the regular blaine county sheriff's department livery uh, i it looks really nice the way they have it here on this back um Livery number one is going to be the Wildlife Rangers livery. Again, I really like how they're incorporating uh, stuff onto that uh, that back hub. Uh, livery number two. Oh, I really like this. Okay, I'm sorry. I haven't actually seen these. I really like the way they, they did that with the back, the, the, the trunk. Uh, cap thing I don't know how to I don't know how to call it but I really like the way they did that that is really really neat I do not mind that at all that looks good livery number three traffic enforcement I feel like traffic enforcement should have done something similar to this since you know that's the whole purpose of traffic enforcement but of course they they just had to throw in that drive so we got pulled over in the click it or ticket sign in the back all the car all all their vehicles have that so that is that is an interesting little cork that i've noticed and then livery number four is the unmarked livery for this vehicle uh which would be what i would drive if i uh if i was going to drive this vehicle and then livery number five is going to be the blaine county sheriff's office warrant services unit so that's pretty neat and then that is going to be it so I believe that's six liveries in total one two three four five six six liveries in total and we got to see the wildlife livery again so uh, now we're going to go into the extras turn everything off do a walk around the vehicle um, and see what it has to offer so without anything on it this is what we're working with in the front we have a very simple red blue alternating uh, hideaways uh, in the front in the side we just have those lights right there next to the F-350 Super Duty um, right there I don't know if you guys can see it flashing red and blue uh, right in front of the uh, the mirror and then it will wrap around here we have the wig wagging tail light the red and blue alternating uh, reverse lights and then the red blue side the side lighting uh, in the back and then back here we also have that same red blue alternating uh, next to the f-350 in front of the mirror so that is going to be it for that uh, just kind of doing a, a spin around the vehicle I'm not seeing anything as far as like interior. I think it's a pretty basic interior. We have Windows XP, so that's pretty interesting. 
we have some windows xp and i don't drive using the actual outer rim of the steering wheel i drive inside of it um i i i feel much more comfortable in there but we're not going to talk about my driving habits extra number one so extra number one is going to add a push bar this is a this is going to be a satina push bar extra number two is going to add some lights to that push bar giving us um, you know a little bit more presence from the front I don't believe it adds anything in the back no it does not extra number three is going to give us a light bar which is really going to give us an all-around presence especially with the intersection lighting and then in the front as well giving us some takedown effect uh, is it giving us any amber effects in the back no it's not so no amber effects in the back but it is giving us a nice little takedown effect up there extra number four is going to add the inner visors so you would probably see this more like this where uh, without the light bar in an unmarked capacity uh, extra number five is going to be the toolbox for this vehicle so let's back up a little bit so that we can see this clearly uh, that's going to give us a lot of uh, well I don't want to say a lot but much better um, intersection lighting with the toolbox with the red and blue alternating right there uh, you can see those lights and then also more lighting in the back with two more red and blue alternating lights on the on the toolbox that same toolbox that we're talking about extra number seven is going to give us this cab over from the back and then extra number eight is going to give us a little bit more intersection lighting than the toolbox gave us with the up and down red effects from those lights right there on the cab over extra number 11 is going to be the ALPRs for this vehicle and extra number 12 is going to give us a uh, a, a stepping uh, what, what, what would these be called the stepping board for for the vehicle and that is going to be it that is all did I count that right 10 10 extras I feel like I counted that wrong one two three four five six seven eight nine 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 extras for this vehicle that is going to be it for that and again this is unlocked at the rank of staff sergeant so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this is going to conclude this episode of fleet friday po post down in the comment section what vehicles from the blaine county sheriff's department you would like to see next and as always i thank you guys so much for watching i want to thank you guys for helping me on this journey to get monetized because i did just recently get monetized and with that said I will see you guys next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This has been your Darren. Ah, uh, doses.